Hello everyone, my name is Tyler with My Computer Works, and today I'm gonna to be giving you a tutorial on how to get the pictures that we take with these little smartphones that we carry around in our pockets, how to get the photos that we take from them to our computer, okay? And there's a number of different ways, and I'm gonna cover about four different ways that we can do it, okay? So let's jump right into it. Okay, so before I do anything, I've got my phone here. I've got it up on screen here. I'm just gonna take, a, I'm gonna take a picture of my keyboard ignore my messy desk here Take a picture of my keyboard and then i'm going to show you uh, one of the really basic ways i don't really like this way but i'm going to show you this way uh, because it's easy and it works uh, in, a, in a pinch or if you're, you need to need to do this quickly and just kind of get one photo or a couple photos out we can always open up like i have my gmail application and i can open up gmail and then here inside gmail i can uh, compose a message to myself, right? Just kind of send it to myself and then attach with a little paper clip, attach that photo to the message and then send. That could work. I don't really like that method. Um, again, it's very basic. It's not the more the most technical way to do it or the better way to do it. It could be fast though. Like I said, if it's just a few email or just a few photos the email method could work but again not my favorite method all right next we've got uh I, this is probably my second favorite method of the preferred methods that we can do here okay and so i still have that photo here on my phone and what we're going to do is and this is all from the phone and then we do it from the pc so on the phone i have that photo still and what i what i use is called google drive However, there are other uh, drives or cloud programs like iCloud, OneDrive. Um, there's other, other ones that you could use. I use Google Drive. And so what I can do is actually open up Google Drive. And once I'm in here, I can hit the plus here, upload a file, and I can go and choose that picture and upload it to my my uh, my drive and then go on my computer to drive or i can download google drive application to my computer and it'll show up there and then i can get it out of there okay so that's another method is using cloud methods like icloud or um, onedrive or google drive to move the photo to the drive and then from the drive to your computer okay all right so i just want to show the flip side uh to that now here i am at Google Drive and I uh, can can scroll through what I've uploaded here and so like we could see just now I uploaded that file that image file well, now I can click the three dots here and download it to my computer which then will go into my download folder and then I can move it to my picture folder or do uh, whatever I feel like doing with it okay so that's first step is from the phone uh, like I showed, going into Google Drive and dropping it, and then you got to come to your computer and download it. All right, this next method is also one of my favorites. So what I have is I have a cable running into my computer, and I'm going to plug my phone into said cable, okay? And when I do that, I'm going to get um, sometimes a notification telling me that I can open my phone. In this case, it didn't come up. That's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my file explorer, and I can go into this PC and I can see the Apple iPhone showing up here. And if I want to, I can dig in here into the internal storage. My phone, I had to allow just now uh, for my computer to actually be able to, to look in there and see stuff. Um, so now I can come in here, Apple iPhone, internal storage, and it's got all the files for me to be able to look at okay alternatively what i can do and this is kind of the better method is i can open up the photos application on windows and up here at the top they have an import option and i can click on import apple iphones right there so i can click on that and i can uh, start importing my photos that way and save them to the computer so Good old cable method always works uh, just just as well. Now this last one here is uh, is is one of the better methods if you plan on uh, long term moving a lot of photos to your computer or basically all the photos you take on your phone or your second device. If you plan on uh, getting them to the computer at one point or another, this is going to be the best mode uh, or the best method, I should say. And that's going to be to do things like download iCloud. So you can download iCloud. 
uh, for desktop, right? This is a this is an actual software that you keep on the computer. It's in the Microsoft Store, so let me pop that open. So in your store, if I were to open up my Microsoft Store, I could go find what's called iCloud. This is something, an actual desktop application I can install on my computer and it will automatically move all the photos to my computer for me. Uh, alternatively, if you have an Android phone, you can do the uh, Google Photos app, okay, for your desktop. And that will um, allow you to, so you can install the desktop app for Google Photos. And with that, you will be able to just automatically have all the photos on the computer. So pretty awesome. Um, a lot of people prefer that method or find that method to be the, the best method. I like that one a lot, okay? All right, everyone, that wraps it up for moving photos from your phone to your computer. I hope this video makes it easy. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. If you need more help, reach out to My Computer Works via the number at the beginning of the video, the end of the video, down in the description. And while you're down there, please hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.